Okay, so this is a very simple tutorial on how to make a uh, flag animation in Blender. So let's get started. First of all, let's delete this cube by clicking on it and pressing delete key. And we're going to go to add, mesh, and then plane. So right now it's square. We don't need square uh, because uh, we know that the, uh, most of the flags are not square, but just rectangle. So we're going to press S to scale it and uh, uh, X axis, X for X axis. Um, in fact, I'm not going to choose X but Y. S for scale and Y for Y axis. We're going to drag our mouse a little bit. Okay, now it, just, it is kind of rectangular. Now, R for rotate, we're going to choose y again and this time 90 degree 9090 and enter now it's upright instead of uh, flat on the surface on the ground so now control a to apply rotation choose rotation after that what we're going to do is press g and grab it like this uh, okay we're going to go a little up here and then we're going to add mesh and then cylinder. We're going to scale it down by pressing S like this. And again, press S to scale it up and press Z or Z to just scale it up upward. Okay, now grab it and then go like this. Grab it and then just here. Okay. Now what we can do is first of all we're gonna hide this stick. So press H to hide it. Click on the object, this uh, flag, and then go to edit mode. And we're gonna press Control R and to create loop cut. And scroll up with your mouse and create some loop cuts. Click and again click. Again, Control R to create loop cut on the other side, the other angle. Okay, so scroll up and then once you're satisfied, click and then click, click again. Okay. Now we have this subdivision created. Um, after that, what, what I'm going to do is let's go to object mode. Um, I'm going to go to physics properties and then choose cloth. Okay. Now this is going to open these uh, options here, down here. Uh, what we're going to do is first let's go to edit mode and then select this left side. Only the vertices of the left side, and we're going to go to Object Data Properties. Up here, you can see Vertex Groups. There's nothing there. You can you can uh, click on Plus to create a Vertex Group. You can rename it. Let's say Flag. Press Enter, and then as we have selected these vertices, we can click Assign to assign the vertex group uh, on these selected vertices. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to object mode. We're going to go to physics properties again and here we're going to choose. We're going to go to shape and then here in pin group, if you click here, you can see the flag, the vertex, the vertex group we have created. Click and choose the flag. Okay? You can see the stiffness is here, so uh, just uh, keep it as it is. We're gonna go to that's that's all we are doing for now, and let's see what happens here. If you press uh, spacebar, you're gonna um, animate this flag 
So if you go back to um, frame one and then right click on the flag and shade smooth. And then if you animate now, it looks smoother, it looks like a cloth. But then you can see that it's like uh, it's creating a weird effect there because it's going through like the cloth, the cloth is like going through itself, so it's not colliding to itself. So we're gonna go to go down here and then go to collisions, and here we're gonna click self collisions. Okay, now if you animate this is gonna look better okay. but the the thing is it's not moving like there's no uh, enough pressure or um, enough air so we're gonna go to add force field and wind now this is uh, showing like upward air that means the wind is going up so what we're going to do is click on R to rotate and uh, X to rotate to X axis and um, type minus 9090 and enter. Okay. Now grab it by pressing G and we're going to keep it around here. Okay. Go back to frame one, and then we're gonna choose the location here. Okay, should be right here. Okay. So now, right now it's strength. Uh, where is the thing here? Um, if you go to this uh, thing here, this trend, this trend is one here. If you if you move this arrow, it's going to increase the strength. But the strength is not enough for now. If you play, it's still not enough. So we're going to change the strength to thousand. Press enter and then let's see. Okay, now it's quite good. So now what we can do is right now the we have like 250 frames. Let's see if it's enough. I think that's enough. So we're gonna keep it as it is. What we can add is we can go to viewport. Uh, I mean preview material preview mode here. And then we're gonna click on the flag. Uh, we're gonna go to material properties, click new, click on new, and then we're gonna choose this base color. Um, let's keep it like this, okay? And then we're gonna unhide this stick by right. Uh, by pressing Alt and H. Okay. So we can also change the material for this stick also. Okay, we're gonna choose like this, this color. Okay. So now, uh, Actually, this is very thick. The stick is very, very thick. I'm going to resize it like this and size up. Okay. That's better, I guess. And then what we can do now is right, uh, I mean, click on the flag and then we're gonna go to shading here it's shading option and we're gonna add one thing here go to add and texture and then image texture click here and then 
oh sorry I was supposed to add image texture and I added magic texture image texture here and then we go to open and uh, you can choose whatever image you like you'd like to uh, add on the flag I'm gonna add the pen blender logo and I'm gonna connect this color to base color okay now it shows the blender logo here let's go to layout and then play okay so this is the flag you have created in the blender looks cool if you go to the render preview mode uh, it looks like this you can change the world here uh, if you go here and then you're going to change the color here okay like this or what you can do is instead of changing this color i guess the color is affecting the color of the uh Flag, so I'm not gonna change the color of the world instead what we can do is we can just add uh, a plane here scale it up and then okay do like this and uh, get it up okay and then what you can do is gonna click on this lamp, change the direction, and then maybe you can uh, go to this option, the object data properties of the lamp or uh, light. You can uh, increase the power from thousand to two thousand. Okay. Now if you do this. And if you turn turn this off, show over list, it's ju just going to show the actual thing. Okay. So this is the flag animation we just created in Blender. Hope you like this video. Uh, this is a very basic tutorial, so it's not very very impressive, but for a beginner, this is going to be a very good animation. Uh, in terms of flag animation so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel